This is Mark Bell from SuperTraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. There you see me getting up some squats with about three plates and some chains. I did a Thompson style squat on this particular day. The Thompson style squat, once again, is uh, done for five sets of two reps. And every single set you work up in weight a little bit. Um, you can work up with more weight, you can work up with more chain. Uh, the way I did it on this particular day was with more chain, as I'll get to in a second. Here's Kara Weston doing some uh, squats in her Leviathan squat suit. Um, stance looks a little wideish, so it's going to be hard to get those knees out. It's going to be hard for her to get depth that way. There's uh, my fat little self squatting again, and I'm adding chains per set. So the first set was, five, was uh, done for double, about two chains per side. Then I add one chain every set after that until I've completed five sets of two. And oftentimes in the Thompson style squat, you want to also um, finish with a couple of heavy singles, which I did not do this day because I'm still recovering uh, from my spill with 1,080. Here's uh, AWOL coming in from uh, Texas. And uh, he came in to train with us for a little bit. Um, he was with us for about two weeks. And it was great to have him. There's Tara Getty going. There's Kara going again. You can see two wide, and it's going to be really hard, especially that right knee. I don't see how that right knee will ever, you know, get out by that where that ankle is. Um, and that's going to be important to get depth. But uh, it was a pleasure having a walk here, a uh, guy who was in the army for uh, eight years, served his time over there, and uh, been through some pretty gruesome shit. <laughs> And he's a cool dude, and um, it's always good to have new people in the gym. But he was um, he was really uh, absorbing everything. You know? He was really asking a lot of questions and stuff, and that that's uh, and he was really involved. He was really involved in uh, trying to help, trying to help everybody, trying to spot and load all that stuff. Uh, makes me want to answer his questions more. <laughs> but here's Kara going again. Good upright posture, form is good. I think the stance is just a little too wide. Um, not not way too wide, just uh, maybe about uh, an inch or two per side. Silent, Silent Mike. Silent Mike, not, not to be confused with Magic Mike. By no means. Oh, here we go. Torta. We need to get that music cranking every time he does a squat. Here's a little bit better squat here by Kara. Kind of sat back in the pocket there. Stance actually looked like it was brought in a little bit there. Um, so good job getting those knees out. Handling the weights great. I mean, you know, she came off a pretty horrible injury and now she's uh, pressing close to 300 pounds off the boards and she's uh, handling you know, nearly 400 pounds in the squat. Pretty much right where she left off before some injuries and surgeries and all kinds of things going on. There's Ryan Cove getting up some safety squat bar. Torta again. Little chubby Mexican. Um, the safety squat bar places uh, stress on the mid upper back. There's my boy, Tristan Shull, who's been MIA for quite some time. And he's fatter than ever. Look at him. Look at, his, look at that. Uh, his ass almost took up the whole screen while the robot was trying to squat. But uh, it's great to have Tristan back in the gym because Tristan is a strong mofo. And Tristan has an extra gear, which is good. You know, Tristan uh, he knows how to he knows how to turn it on and he knows how to knows how to get big weights. Look at how easy he's doing these. You know, he hasn't been around for months. Um, I mean, I don't I don't know how long it's been. I think it's been at least eight or nine weeks since he's really, um, and, and maybe more like twelve weeks since he's. Uh, really had any sort of consistent training. He just comes right in and starts squatting like a mofo. David Butt Squish going here again. David is squatting with chains on this day, doing something a little different. There's Torta. Get a little Mexican hat dance going. Mexican hat dance would have been perfect for that lift because of the wiggle of the hips. Here's Scholl using the uh, slingshot wraps, the multi-purpose wraps on his knees from howmuchbench.net. 
Preston's fat, chubby knees um, get banged up here and there, so uh, when he wants to hit a big set, he just throws those bad boys on. I really like doing that myself. I think it can help add about 5% to your lift, um, give you that little extra advantage, allow you to overload, allow you to handle a little bit more weight, and uh, why not? It's going to protect your knee, allow you to handle more weight, why not? Mr. Robot Pants, hitting up some squats. Robot Pants is losing some weight, okay. but uh, still, still squatting like a mofo. There's Shoal, you can see how far back he really sits on those. I think that was about six plates. Um, kind of hard to tell at this point, but the thing is about six plates. So now he's got, looks like about six plates in a 10, about 620 or so. And then plus about 100 pounds of change per side. Like I said, Preston's just a brute, man. He just has a lot of strength. Wouldn't surprise me, wouldn't shock me if he just came in and got in a suit and squatted, you know, mid-nines after not being around for a long time. Very good form, very good stability. Um, he's just a jerk. <laughs> There's Mr. Pants. He nearly died. Really good, strong squat, though. And that is it from supertraining.tv. Later.